All right, child, I'm going to end this motherfucker like I always do. Showing love and shouting out. And today I want to shout out all those members of the Jackson State football team who were awarded by the SWAC just a couple of days ago. That's Coach Prime, of course, winning Coach of the Year. It's some big shit. To have, to have a motherfucker that legendary as a player starting to have success as a coach, this shit going to need a movie, okay? Nick Saban can coach. He can't do what Prime did on that field. You understand? Uh, coach K in basketball. You know I hate that motherfucker. But the basketball world loves him for his coaching ability. I don't know if he could hoop or not. I I know he couldn't hoop like 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 Prime played football. This is some legendary shit. Shout out, Coach James Houston, Mister Houston, getting newcomer of the year. Shadur getting freshman of the year. And, and I I was about to turn up, y'all. I ain't gonna cap. I was about to turn up and, and, and say, why in the hell Mr. Houston didn't get Defensive Player of the Year and why Shadur didn't get uh, 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 the Offensive Player of the Year. But then I looked up them numbers. Uh, I think kid over there at, at uh, FAMU had like 19 sacks, something like that. You know what I'm talking about? Mr. Houston had 14 and a half of them bitches. You know what I'm talking about? So hopefully Mr. Houston stays with us. How oh, fuck that. If, if Mr. Houston, if you got a chance to go pro, go get your money. But if that's not the case, hopefully Mr. Houston get like 20, 20 sacks next year. You know what I'm talking about? Definitely get that award. And uh, Mr. Glass, I guess outside of the Jackson State game, uh, him and Coach Maynard righted the ship, and he went and put up some decent numbers. So shout out to that young man as well. Hopefully he gets drafted. You know what I'm talking about? But Shadur definitely was a freshman of the year. It's going to get scary. It's going to get scary. When that boy gets older, y'all watch it. Uh, on the first team, uh, defense selections, of course, Mr. Houston is there. Antoine Owens was there. Aubrey Miller was there, first team. All headache gang members, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, first team specialist, Isaiah Bolden. Uh, on the second team, you had uh, – second team offense, that is, I apologize. Shadur Sanders, you had Tony Gray on that line. Shout out, young man, because we were fussing about that damn line all year. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you put in work. Uh, and Keith Corbin, second team offense. You know what I'm saying? Uh, at the wide out position. Shout out to that young man. Uh, second team defense. Ham. You know what I'm saying? A holdover from the previous uh, coaching staff. You know what I'm talking about? So Ham was good then. He's still good now. Shout out to that young man. And Shiloh, head a game CEO. On the second team defense. But out of all these men, I want to especially shout out Mr. Aubrey Miller Jr. This is why, okay? When they dropped uh, what Coach Prime season one, there was a moment in that series in which we got to see uh, a meeting with Prime and other coaches and um, some of the key guys on the team. Aubrey Miller was in that room. Coach Prime chewed all those motherfuckers out, as we coaches tend to do, good coaches. And you could tell that uh, Mr. Miller was very much affected by what Coach Prime was saying. Fucking infuriated. There's a big-ass motherfucker now. This, this young man, goddammit, he in that weight room. But shit, he was moved to tears. He was just that mad. I've been there before. And um, when Jackson State won, I want to say that was they when they beat FAMU that first game. Or it might have been a Tennessee State game. It's, it's, it's either one. Probably the FAMU game because it was so uh, close. 
after the game, uh, Ivor Miller ran up on Coach Prime and pushed him, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, like in celebration, you know, me and we do a bunch of crazy shit in, in celebration. So, you know what I'm saying? He popped him like that. And I know, like, me and other motherfuckers in the fan base looked at that and they said, what the fuck? Like, like he did some bitch kind of hard. And so what I did was I chopped out that little part from that documentary, from that series, in which Prime went off on him. And you could see Mr. Miller mad as fuck at Prime. And I was like, yo, he, young blood been holding that shit in since this moment. And, you know, a lot of people in the uh, community uh, saw that post. And uh, even Mr. Miller reacted to that post. You know what I'm talking about? He was like, shit, you right. But I say all that to say this. This young man showed how to respond to hard coaching. He didn't say, fuck this shit, coach. I'm going home. I'm finna enter the transfer portal. And he ain't do none of that. That boy went out there and balled out this year. Led his team in tackling. Made first team all defense in his conference. Is a part of, in my opinion, the best defense in the FCS. Undoubtedly the best defense in the SWAC. And now they're about to play for SWAC championship. Can possibly be playing, they win this game, for a black national title. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. You respond with your effort. You respond with your play. You don't do all this fuck shit. See, motherfuckers be wanting that light ass coach and be wanting the coach and let you do what the fuck you want to do. No, but it's bullshit. You're not going to win that way. You're not going to win that way. You got to have that hard shit. The same way with parenting. Your parents just let you do whatever the fuck you want to do. You're not going to win in life like that. Because your ass ain't got no straightening, as my brother always say. Your ass needs some straightening. Your ass get wrong. You need somebody that loves you, appreciates you, and wants to see the best out of you. Get your ass some straightening. And you got to accept it. It's a two-way thing. You can have somebody to try to get your ass that straightening, but if you don't accept it, if you don't accept the game, if you don't accept the knowledge, the shit ain't going to work. It's two-way street. I used to tell my youngest all the time, I can give you the game, but I can't make you play it. So I want to shout out Aubrey Miller for taking the game that Coach Prime gave him, that the other uh, coaches gave him, and you went out there and you played the game the right way, young man. Now, all of y'all, go finish your motherfucking food this weekend, okay? This shit ain't done. You still got more on your goddamn plate, okay? And we don't waste no food over here. Go finish your motherfucking food. And let's win this fucking swag championship. I appreciate y'all for fucking with me. Please continue to do so. Please follow me across all social media platforms. Y'all see it down there in the description. Please follow, put it on some across all social media platforms. That's on Facebook, put it on some. Instagram, put it on some. That's on uh, Twitter, P-I-O-S underscore 100. You know what I'm talking about? And do the same for uh, my brothers as well. Don't forget to shout with statement tees. That's statement tees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement. And you can book it. Jackson State will be your swag champions. Book it. Go to the boat and make you some money. Tell them first century. Hey, and also fuck with all black everything by your boy Fur Leather. You know what I'm talking about. I appreciate y'all. As always, one. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me across all social media platforms. Like the videos and share them. Did I forget anything? Enter on the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also, visit StatementTeesLLC.com and shop with us. That's StatementTees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.